Welcome back to another Outdoors FHS episode, and today we're going to be looking at the Lose Tournament Series Speed Spool. This is great reel. I love this thing. Um, let's open it up, take a look at this, and uh, let's learn a little bit more about this thing. So, I have used one of these in the past, so although this is my first one, um, I picked this up today. I have used it in the past, and just a great great reel um, got so much to say about this thing and the very first thing saying would be that it is an 8.3 to 1 gear ratio which if you guys don't know what that means it is every single time one full rotation of the handle that spool will turn 8.3 times which is fast very fast the I say the average speed is probably six or seven but uh, eight speed is eight speeds up there pretty quick so another thing to say about this reel is that it has 10 ball bearings these ball bearings are not cheap either they are stainless steel ball bearings and they'll last you a while uh, some of these reels that you can buy you know on Amazon for 25 30 dollars whatever and it's got 16 ball bearings it's because those ball bearings are such poor quality where they'll they won't last you in time at all and the casting ability is just not what it'd be like on more expensive reels like this where you get just higher quality stuff. So for this, it being 10 ball bearings and what you really need to look at, a Luz. Um, Luz is a great company that, you know, obviously like Shimano, things, companies like that, you can trust them to have great quality things. So I know when I buy a Luz, I, I'll, I'll get the quality I'm looking for. So basically what I'm saying is that these 10 ball bearings makes it so you can cast so smoothly in almost any distance you'd like. A realistic distance. <laughs> Next up is that this reel is pretty light. This is a 6.7 ounce reel. Um, it's not too heavy. I do think they could have kicked the weight down a little bit with this metal handle. I think that's where most of the weight is coming from is this metal handle. I think they could have switched it to carbon fiber but not huge deal at all by any means. The spool itself, this can fit line 120 yards of 12 pound line. Me personally, I'm gonna load this thing with 20 pound suffix 832, very thin braid, and then probably put a fluorocarbon leader on it. But uh, yeah, I think this will be able to handle suffix 832, 20 pound, no problem at all. Next up is the drag. So this is a 14 pound drag, and one thing I love about it, that it clicks. I think you guys might be able to hear this. Yeah, it, it's clicking. So I love that. Anything that clicks just gives me a nice representation of how much these dials are actually moving because it is the exact same with the spool tension knob as well. It clicks as well. So love that about this reel. But if I had to pick the number one thing about this reel, it's the braking system. This braking system is a great braking system. It is, there's multiple usages for it. So let's, let me open this up real quick. So what this is, it, it has two different systems of brake, two settings of brakes. So this is your magnetic braking system. This does it all by itself. This will slow your spool down to prevent backlashes and such. So this is very helpful. But then you move in here, and you also have four manual brakes you can turn on. You don't have to turn these brakes on, but there's one here, one here, one here, one here. I'm probably going to keep them off for now in case, you know, unless it gets windy or something that I'm going to need to put these brakes on for, casting into the wind, things like that. But I am going to keep them off for now until I get out on the water. But definitely something good to have with your reel. Next is the handle. I like the handle, it's a pretty wide handle. Um, it's got some decent sized paddles on it that really gets it. So if you're not ready for that fish, you can basically just grab in any direction you'd like and you're most likely gonna get, be able to grab one of those paddles and set the hook on that fish and get that in the boat. But uh, all around, phenomenal buy. This was $140 and honestly, it is worth every penny. Great, great reel. Uh, it's loose. Uh, Anything Lose makes just about is 
quality I respect and quality I'll use for sure. If you have the money for this reel, I suggest you go out and get one yourself just to see how great of a reel this actually is. So that is my review on the Lose Tournament Series Speed Spool. If you have any questions, leave something in the comments. Or if you like the video, obviously give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.